Now at five, many of you have told in TV about your interest in the latest developments in allowing recreational marijuana here in Ohio. Well, tonight we went one on one with the man who will be responsible for carrying out those regulations. 10 TV reporter Kevin Landers is live in studio with us tonight with what he had to say. Well, Jim Canepa, the director of cannabis control, says unless the legislature steps in and expedites the license proce approval process, the state will hand out licenses on September 7th. He told me that Ohio will not allow dispensaries to advertise on the side of the road or on billboards. He said Michigan did it and he didn't like it. Kanepa says under Ohio law, recreational marijuana dispensaries must be one mile apart from each other and 500 feet away from schools and churches. He says new dispensaries will have to wait 24 months after permits are approved for existing dispensaries, which is what the statute allows. I asked him how Ohio law will impact the black market for pot. Is there any evidence that shows that states that have approved recreational marijuana drive out the illegal underground pot dealer? Does this make a dent in, all, in any of that? Absolutely does. Absolutely does. Um, you know, if there are customers who have the choice between getting um, products that are not tested for pesticides and heavy metals and molds and bacteria, E. coli, and a product that is legal and tested and safe and sold by somebody with a permit who is required to follow the law versus some underground exchange in an, in an alley, I think it, the, the choice is pretty clear. Kanepa says unless there is a lawsuit to slow down the license application process, he says licenses will be approved by September 7th. He says there will be between 300 and 350 licenses for recreational use, including 50 granted specifically for minorities and other specific groups to the Department of Development.